you're gonna build it back really good. So I was like, oh, dude. Well, welcome to another weekly word. Uh, this week I've got Jordan Was joining me. Uh, we're gonna get to know him a bit more and see what he's been up to lately. Um, so Jordan, do you want to introduce yourself, full name, um, and we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, my name is Jordan Matthew Was. Uh, I'm a uni student. I study sport and exercise science at UTS. And yeah, that's that's about it. It's good. It's good. Good old uni student. Um, got a question for you. If you could live the life of someone at All Saints, uh, whose life would you live and why? Um, it's a good question. I think I would... I think I would like to be Sam Collisbird because he's just got good facial growth. Facial mm-hmm. And I think I'm a little bit envious of it, if I'm being honest. Um, so you've shared with us that you're a uni student. Yep. Um, you do a bit of part-time work after school care. Uh, how has that changed for you through COVID and this whole situation? Um, <clears throat> so uni's, uni's like gone online for, well, all, all uni's have. Um, I think probably the main change, and actually, and work as well has, um, it's been off and on, but it's been on for most of the time because um, parents are like able to send their kids um, to, to after school care. Uh, I think the main thing is just like trying to get into a, a different routine. I think that's sort of the big thing, um, and that's been a bit bit tricky. Mm. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you're spending more time at home, mm. uh, more time looking at a screen, um, because of this whole isolation thing. And we all know that everyone picks up an isolation hobby or a favourite thing to do or something new they get into. Uh, what's something that you've picked up? Um, have you got a new isolation thing? Uh, I like... Oh, actually, I do I do have one. I think I've definitely done a bit more cooking. Um, mum would be pretty happy with that if she's watching. Shout out to mum. Jenny Watts. Thanks. Um, I've done... Yeah, I've cooked a lot of brownies. Baked. Baked a lot of brownies. Um, so that's been pretty good. I, I don't know if it, I'd call it a hobby, but... I'd say it's it's happened. It's, a, it's yeah. an isolation thing for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's cool. That's cool. Jordy, the the baker and yeah. the chef. Um, so you've picked up cooking. You've picked up um, those little skills because uh, you're at home more often. And um, then one one other thing that's been happening is churches online and Bible studies online. Mm. Um, how have you found that being at home and needing to engage with church through a screen? Like it's it's definitely had its challenges, um, as like we all know. Um, I think, uh, I guess the trickiest thing is like we, like I, I watch TV um, and I like I consume like Netflix and stuff like that. And then to like watch like church on TV, it's like, it, it feels similar. And I think that's the issue is like when I'm going to watch church on, on the TV, it's like, it is more of a consuming thing um, rather than like actively participating in it. Mm. So I think, I think that's like the challenge to overcome. And I think part of that is like, um, you know, as, as like we say, like just getting rid of distractions, um, trying to like write notes and stuff like that um, and try and watch it with, with other people to sort of help you with that. Mm. Yeah, big tips, good advice. Um, What's something that God's been teaching you through this time, through this time of isolation, and I guess um, doing church and Bible study online? Is there anything which is sort of made clearly obvious to you? Mm. Like a, a number of things. I think one of them is just being able to, to sit and just like reflect um, and spend time on, on thinking about my own life and where I'm headed. Um, and what sort of what sort of matters the most? Um, I think, among other things, like I've spent um, time earlier this year um, and during COVID um, reading like Exodus, and there was one there's one particular chapter that stood out to me, um, and it was Exodus 32. And basically, what had happened is um, 
like the whole of Exodus is like the story of how like God brought Moses um, or he raised Moses to um, basically save the Israelites um, from slavery. And we see like this progression of how God's been super faithful um, to the Israelites. He's, um, you know, he's caused plagues on the Egyptians. He's like helped them, like he's, he striked a rock and like water came out of it. He's provided them with heaps of manna and, um, you know, split the, the sea. Um, and we see like in Exodus 32 is basically um, the Israelites just selfishness um, and idolatry. It's where they make like this, this golden calf. Um, and I think it struck me for, for a number of reasons is, um, and one of them is that like we, we all have these things that sort of take our, take, uh, I guess our attention and they can sort of turn into idols. Um, and I think that's something I've really learned during COVID, um, is that, you know, what am I sort of fixing my eyes upon? Um, and like for me and for us, it's not, you know, making a golden calf. Um, but there's other things, there's, there's, there's wealth, you know, reputation, there's lots of other idols that we make in our life. Um, and that's really challenged me to think about, um, you know, and reflect upon during this time. Mm, that's so good. It's so good that you've been challenged by that in God's Word. Um, I know for many people, um, time in God's Word has been difficult. Um, yeah, I guess in a time where you've got to come up with new routines and habits. Mm. Um, what's helped you engage with God's Word or like... Yeah, how have you found that whole, you know, process mm. and that habit uh, for yourself? I think, um, like, honestly, the main thing, like, one of the main things that, that's helped me is, is getting good sleep. <laughs> um, mm. I think, like, being able to um, have a good routine and, like, get to bed early just helps me wake up, like, refreshed um, and definitely like spend time in the morning um yeah spending time with god in the morning has really helped with that um and it helps me start my day right um and i guess also um like spending time with god isn't i guess like i, I something i've learned as well is spending time with god isn't just like reading the bible and um just trying to get something out of it as such um, but it's just like spending time um, in God's presence and like meditating on his word and like really trying to wrestle with it um, and like just allowing time for that I think uh, is really important and something I've yeah continue to be challenged by I think um, yeah mm, that's so good uh, and finally what are you looking forward to when things go back to a sort of normal or a new normal like, is there anything in particular which you're just yearning for? Yearning for? Um, I reckon, like, I'm pretty keen for, like, more physical touch. I'm pretty keen for, like, more physical touch. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Um, I'm keen for a cuddle. I'm, like, one of the main things I'm excited for is just being able to worship together, um, mm -hmm. sing songs, sing loudly, um, and I guess I, I'm praying and I'm hoping that, um, yeah, when we do um, come back and meet together that we will um, be, I guess, more open to um, worshipping God more freely mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, doing it without fear of... Uh, judgment and stuff of others. Yeah. Mm, that's so good. Well, uh, it's been good getting to hear from you, Geordie, uh, hearing, yeah, about what you've been up to um, and what God's been teaching you. Um, yeah, and I hope that you guys found this encouraging um, and we'll see you next week on the Weekly Word. See you. <laughs>